Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and replay baseball fans. A package came today, and it is my 1979 payoff pitch baseball set that I ordered from the game company that makes them strategy, something strategy games, sideline strategy games, I believe is what they're called. And uh, they, uh, I, I bought the 1979 set because, as many of you out there may know, 1979 is my favorite season for baseball because it was the first season I'd ever bought of Stratomatic baseball. Of any, I mean, it was the first Stratomatic, but it was the first of any replay uh, baseball game that I bought was 1979. So that makes it my favorite season. And, um, and I mean, they had some great guys, and we are going to look at some of those great guys uh, in just a minute. And we're also going to watch me open the package and break down the cards in a time-lapse manner because I know you don't want to spend three hours, and hopefully it won't take three hours to put all the teams, you know, all the guys in their teams. But... Let's get on with the video looking at the 1979 Payoff Pitch baseball card set. Well, here we are. We finally got the teams all broken down, broken out into their teams. Loving it. And now I thought I would take a, a quick look at some of the cards, some of the interesting cards from, at least as what I remember from the 1979 Stratomatic set, and see how that translates to um, payoff pitch. So the first guy we're going to look at that I remember and we're going to go to the Padres here and take a look at Champ Summers. So there's Champ Summers' card. And um, as you'll notice, I did get the righty lefty splits for the for the, this uh, for the 1979 set, um, which um, I don't have for the 2018. And that's those are the only two I've got. Um, but yes, I I was mindful of or ordering the righty lefty splits. So you can see right here what Champ Summers did. Um, and uh, this is his combined card. And we can see, where are his stats? Usually they have their stats on here. Oh yeah, there they are. Um, 
Yeah, so you can see what he what he did versus lefties, twenty only twenty one at bats, but versus righties, two hundred and eighty five at bats, and twenty home runs, which is a great ratio. And if you look at his wheelhouse, got one to thirty four versus lefties, but a one to fifty eight versus righties. And then uh, the next guy we're going to look at on the Padres is Dave Winfield, and uh, his his uh, statistics uh, were he hit 331 versus lefties and 300 versus righties and uh, he had um, a combined uh, 34 home runs and so again you can see that's a pretty good wheelhouse there we're just going to take a quick look at some of these you know go through them interesting guys so that was um, Two guys on the Padres. Let's take a look at a couple of guys on the Phillies. Um, and you got Michael Jack Schmidt, of course, you would want to look at. And there are his statistics versus lefties. Hit 341 versus righties. He hit uh, just 225. And uh, so let's see what that, that breaks down to in Wheelhouse. Well, in Wheelhouse, he's got a 1-70 to for home runs. Oh, yeah, yeah, he had 36 home runs and 418 at-bats, even though he only hit 225. Um, and 1-50 to 50 versus lefties, that's not bad either. Now, another guy I want to look at is one of my favorite players. Don't even ask me why, but it's uh, Greg Gross. Loved Greg Gross. One of the all-time best pinch hitters, I think, in my opinion. Of course, he's got zero home runs uh, in wheelhouse, but look at that patient versus lefties one to 96 is a walk versus righties it's only one to 49 but it's one to 96 uh versus lefties so uh yeah his on base percentage was well his on base percentage yeah wait a minute righties righties huh his on-base percentage versus um, righties is actually higher, 434, as opposed to 348 versus lefties. Um, hmm, I don't know. And he hit 357 versus righties. Maybe they got him on the wrong side of the card, I don't know. But anyway, uh, that was two guys on the Phillies, Mike Schmidt and Greg Gross, and... Here we go. We're going to take a look at one more, Steve Carlton. Now look at all those toughs on Steve Carlton's card. He pitched 251 innings, allowed 202 hits. Um, and he had uh, an ERA of 362 that year. Durable, of course. Uh, fatigue, 8. You're not going to see that again, unfortunately. And the wheelhouses. Look, the wheelhouses for him are at 2-12. and 12. So that is three guys on the Phillies. I know you guys got limited time here, so we're going to take a quick look at people, and then we're going to move on. And you got Nolan Ryan. This is Nolan Ryan on California in, um, in 1979, and he has a ton of toughs and only one wheelhouse, and that's at three. So, um, but he does have a lot of the patience because you remember early in his career, Ryan did walk a lot of guys. So that's Nolan Ryan. And then we're moving right along, moving right along briskly here. And one of the guys that had a really great card, got to go to the Cubs, um, oddly. And that is, um, Dave Kingman versus lefties check out the wheelhouse 1 to 67 is a home run versus lefties and 1 to 73 versus righties and there you go down there at the bottom of the card is what he did 317 versus lefties and 274 versus righties so that was uh, that was our look at um, the, at the Cubs players that I wanted to see. And now we're going to take a look at, uh, I think, a couple of Atlanta players. 
got they played in Fulton County Stadium there, the launching pad, and you got Dale Murphy. Dale Murphy, who hit 360 versus lefties, and he hit only 252 versus righties with a 318 on base. So he wasn't real good against righties. Uh, but the home runs, 5 in 86 at bats versus lefties, and 16 in 298 versus righties. So that's a 1 to 42 and a 1 to 44. Um, and he was a, an, a catcher F which is, um, I, that's, that's pretty in line with what he was in Strat. Bad catcher. And, uh, and then we've got Phil Negro. And uh, you got a tough out. I remember reading about that. I don't remember exactly what that is. But, um, but the toughs are right there at 6 and 7. And only one wheelhouse, and that's at 10. Of course, he was uh, famously in 1979. He was 21 and 20. He had a 21 and 20 record. So, 41 decisions. You're, again, that's something you're not going to see probably anymore uh, in our lifetimes, unfortunately. And uh, you know, I wish it wasn't like that because these, I think, these were the these were the good old days right here. Um. So, who else are we going to look at? I don't think I have anybody else out to look at, except, of course, my White Sox. We're going to just zip through the White Sox kind of quickly here. Of course, they played in Comiskey. They were still playing in Comiskey Park um, in 1979. Uh, Rich Hinton, who cares? Mike Colburn, Wayne Nordhagen. You got a little Wayne Nordhagen here. And, uh, hmm, Wayne, Nor I didn't know Wayne Nordhagen pitched. Oh, he did, 2.1 innings. I guess they make everybody's card. And look at how hard, uh, man, I'm going to be pitching Wayne Nordhagen. Mike Squires, great defensive first baseman, uh, but not a very good hitter. And you can see 250 and 268. Harry Chappis was a pretty young guy then. Steve Trout. Who doesn't who doesn't remember Steve Trout? Junior Moore, Thad Bosley, Jack Cusack. Jack Cusack with a lot of patience. He only pitched one third of an inning. Man, they made everybody. Now that's a little different than, you know, Strat. Strat, I'm talking to you. Um, Mike Broly. <laughs> Mike Proley, Chet Lemon, Richard Dotson. Of course, this was Richard Dotson when he just started out. He only pitched 24 innings. Alan Bannister, one of their better players. Um, he hit 254 against lefties, but 304 against righties. Lamar Hoyt, three and a third innings. This must have been the very first year he ever appeared. And almost everything is in play. Not good. <laughs> Greg Pryor, Ed Farmer. Now this was uh, Ed. Far this is Ed Farmer's card on just on the uh, White Sox, but I expect it to be similar to his uh, combined card, which should be in here somewhere. You got Kevin Bell, Laren Legro, um, Don Kessinger, Steve Davis, Pablo Toriaba, Ross Baumgarten. Yeah, he's not that great. Although his wheelhouses are at 2 and 12. Mark Esser, one and a third innings pitch, two hits. Got a lot of patience on there. George Orta, he was one of their better players. Ken Kravek, Lamar Johnson, Ron Schuler. Now there's Ed Farmer, there's his combined card. Um, and combined, he pitched 114 innings. I think he was a starter reliever, though. Francisco Barrios. Britt Burns, again, early on in his career, only five and a third innings pitched. And then there's the Wayne Nordhagen regular card where he actually played out in the field. And um, he hit 306 versus lefties, 196 versus righties. And he played multiple positions. Two outfield, one catcher, and of course, the pitcher.
position. Guy Hoffman, I don't remember. Mar Foley, I remember. He didn't last very long. Dewey Robinson, Rusty Torres, Joe Gates, Rich Wortham, one of their big pitchers, 204 innings, 195 hits allowed, 490 earned run average, which was high for 1979. Jim Morrison was one of their better players. Ralph Gar. Claude L. Washington, again, one of their better, well, yeah, one of their better play Against righties, he hit 292, 328 on base percentage, uh, 12 home runs, so. And there's Ralph Gar's combined card. There he is, Bill Naharodney, catcher for the Chicago White Sox. And he hit 280 against lefties and 237 against righties that year. Um, wheelhouse against lefties, one one to forty four, but against righties, just one to twenty. Randy Scarberry, one of their pitchers, one hundred and one innings. Milt May, the Milt May cards, and that is a quick look, just a quick going through the Chicago White Sox. So, um, hope you guys like that quick look at my nineteen seventy nine set. And uh, pretty excited about getting delving into this and playing some 1979 uh, Chicago White Sox and pitching Nordhagen against everybody that I can pitch him against. But uh, what are you guys' impressions uh, of uh, you know the uh, 19? If you have both sets, I'd be interested to hear uh, what you think of the comparison between the two sets, especially. If you've played 1979 uh, games with both sets. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.